hi guys welcome to my channel now I'm gonna share with you how you find out that you have a breast cancer ito kasi yung maraming katanungan sa akin kung paano ko nalaman na may breast cancer po ako well based on my experience Nalaman ko po na may breast cancer ako kasi may may tumubo po na lump sa breast ko at hindi ko ito nalalaman. One time only na nalaman ko na my one breast is different from another breast. So, ang ginawa ng asawa ko, he bring me to the emergency in hospitals and there, I found out that I have lump on my breast. So, the emergency hospital in Royal Victoria refers me to the breast cancer. Because the woman at the age of 40, it's already rest of breast cancer. Kahit na may gene ka or family history or not, everybody is rest on breast cancer for a woman at the age of 40 kaya kailangan talaga ng woman na magpamamogram kaya doon ako nagpamamogram at saka sa mamogram nakita nila yung lump ko na lumalaki at saka yung pagkatapos noon dinala nila ako sa biopsy Doon talaga ang confirmation sa biopsy. Biopsy guys, I just w just want to highlight with you that it's it's the test that detects some part of your tissue at dinadala ito sa laboratory at doon malaman if you have a cancer or not. So doon ko nalaman na may cancer ako kasi after the result of my biopsy. Being a cancer Patient at first when I found out that I have cancer It's naturally you are devastating you cried Because you we are all human we have emotion because I didn't expect that I having that First of all, I'm very hyperactive woman. I don't feel anything I just very normal, but suddenly the doctor told me that the result of the biopsy is you having a cancer it's already in level 2. So he asked me to go to surgery. But I'm very reluctant to go to surgery because I'm scared ever since in my life. I never went to the hospitals or anything except for this moment. So when I decided to go, my husband asking the doctor if I don't go to surgery or not. And the doctor replied that if I don't go to surgery, I will die because the cancer, cancer will spread to your bones, to your brains, every part of your body. So, kailangan talaga sa mga babae na at the age of 40 magpamamagram talaga kayo para malaman nyo kung may, may diferensya ba yung breast nyo. At saka mag pa-biopsy. Kasi doon sa mamogram, makita nila kung ano doon ang meron. Doon ka na nila i-recommend na magpa-biopsy kung may makita silang lamb na hindi hin, lamb na hindi talaga nila ma, ma ano na it's different from your other part of your breast. Kaya yung nandoon na ako sa matapos ako sa jury last February 8, 2019 nag-undergo ako ng chemotherapy for for 3 months for acceptance and uh, 3 months for the taxels and a year for herceptin the side effect of the acceptance chemotherapy is very strong because they also kill your good cells and bad cells so the side effects is very strong one side effects is you're having headache you are having fatigue your vision will blur and you have short has short of breath that even you walk you you're catching up your breath and you're vomiting 
your diarrhea there's a lot of side effects of the chemotherapy and your hair for me my second treatment my hair all dropped already all my hair again this is my new hair already it's all gone actually if your hair is gone it's really you know for me i feel really depressed at that time because i saw i have a very long hair so i saw my hair is dropping so i always you know go to the bathroom and pick it up my hair is really depressing but you know one thing if you are always think positive in your life you keep praying to god you can overcome everything one thing i will tell you that if you know that you having breast cancer don't isolate yourself interact with your friends for me here in canada i don't have much friends except in the church so i'm very thankful to my pastors to pastor benji pastor lopez and pastor william who keep praying for me shout out to them i'm very thankful to them and to all my family friends in church that's the way i cook up everything i i interact with them i i take life as normal so don't isolate yourself because sometimes if you find out that you are you are breast cancer is hard you look like some people they isolate themselves they won't go out they won't take their life but listen to your body because there's a lot of side effects but if you listen to your body for me if i'm very tired i have fatigue i just go sleep if i'm very you know i listen to my body but if i'm very okay because the acceptance after my treatment three days i cannot sleep i'm very hyper after three days it go down because my white blood cells is go down too so it's very hard i can get easily infections so that's the way it is that you just take life as normal and don't forget always to pray because you know everything happened with a reason god giving you that because you can do it so you can overcome it so pray always to god and when i am in my taxols chemotherapy for three months the side effect that i have is i have tingle in my hand is really numb that i cannot you know it's not comfortable to hold anything and also to my feet is really really numb it's not really comfortable to walk sometimes you know you're out balance so what i do if you're having that symptoms always wear socks if you are married always ask your husband to massage your foot because it helps you it will help you to relieve the numbness because that's what i did i wear socks and i often ask my husband to massage my foot and also my hand i always moving it in order because sometimes the numbness in your hand you cannot even hold glass so you need to move it all the time in order you know to to release the numbness because it come and go the numbness but the taxol because for me i'm having already taxol for almost a year sometimes it won't go away because now my hand is go away now because i'm already for that hair sip 10 now so i don't have taxol anymore on my chemotherapy treatment but on my foot still i'm having little bit so you just take patience on that because it takes time to go away and the hair sip 10 is you are already not because it's a light chemotherapy it's not really because i am positive of her symptom so light chemotherapy as i have now so there is no side effect already only the six months is very strong that there is a lot of side effects so one thing if you don't have appetite to it you force yourself to eat in order to stay healthy and if you have dryness on your throat on your on your sour throat on your mouth so you gaggle it with you know with a diluted baking soda with salt so it helps don't use listerine or any mouthwash because it help it will more 
dry in your mouth use the baking soda you mix it with salt with the hot water and then you goggle it and then every morning so it helps it will it helps on your mouth and the next question is somebody always asking me how to stay healthy when you are in chemotherapy yes it's really hard to stay healthy when you are in chemotherapy it's because you don't have appetite to eat but the food that you can eat you can it's good for you that you eat a lot of fruits a lot of broccoli eggs salads and uh, high in protein for me is i cannot taste anything because you know when, when you're in chemotherapy you don't taste anything in your tongue so what i did i keep eating salad i put the apple inside because you know that's the only thing that i can eat but my appetite is increased it's become double so i keep eating the eggs every morning if you don't have problem in your heart or you don't have any cholesterol you can eat eggs every day because i keep eating that's the only thing i can eat i can taste and the dairy is very good for you but i just don't like dairy i just don't like yogurt and milk but i force myself little bit little bit to eat because it's good for your body and garlic and peanuts all type of nuts is good for you avoid fatty foods but eat more vegetables and fruits that's the way you stay healthy and the next question they're asking me if ever i shy to go out when i don't have hair yes it's really shameful to go out when you don't have hair so what i do is i use wig i use wig or the summer cap that when you go out in order to cover because you if you're in chemotherapy your skin is very sensitive to the sun and you know the heat is just very pain to your thing to your head because you you don't have anything on your day and just don't you just don't you know because you don't look really good and you are in chemotherapy you become color yellowish you know and you become like a balloon because of the i think because of the medicine but just don't bother that because after finish it will go back just think positive don't think the negative side because that's what i did i never think i don't care what people say me that i look yellowish i look ugly or i look like alien come from the outer space because i don't have you know hair because sometimes i forgot to wear wig but i really don't care i just stick life as you know normal because that's the way i can help myself to overcome what i am i uh, what i have in myself so you just always be first of all you just always pray second you always think positive all the time and take your life normal don't isolate yourself interact with your family interact with your friends interact with your you know the people that close to you and then take life as normal don't shy to tell to someone if they ask you that what happened why you were always cup what happened that why you wear always weak don't shy to tell them that you having that problem because anyone can have it but don't be shy to tell them because that's the way you helping yourself too to overcome the breast cancer thank you for watching my video guys hope it will help you if you having this type of sickness that i have right now thank you for watching and don't forget to share like and subscribe my channels because i'm always uploading videos here regarding of my recovery of my breast cancer and i also upload any recipes because during my leisure hours i i i love to cook I love to bake so I upload also here to share with you thanks for watching and don't forget to press the bell button in order you can notify 
my next videos. Bye and God bless us all.